Hello everybody. Okay, this is going to be a general love reading for all the signs. For every single sign. Um, the way I'm going to do this is do one card each per sign. And kind of just get the overall energy for you, uh, for you from there. Okay. Here we go. This is going to be for Aries, Taurus, Gemini, I gotta slide these over. Cancer, Leo, Virgo, Libra, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Aquarius. Pisces. Okay. Two of Pentacles. Ooh. So I'm getting with the Two of Pentacles at the bottom that people are really um, running out of time to make their choices here. Okay. So let's see what Aries has first. Aries has the Three of Swords. Yikes. Heartbreak. This is the Heartbreak card. So. Either you're going to break somebody's heart or your heart is set to get broken. There's not really much you can do with that. That is literally the heartbreak card. Um, let me just leave that at that. If you watch this channel, you will know I hate that card. So I don't want to spend time on it. Um, the Taurus. Taurus got the Empress. So either you are... I mean, either you're in a self-love mode where you're seeing yourself as this Empress... Or you have a person that you see as um, the empress, the person who has it all, and the person who you may want to get with. And that's where you're, like, heading in that direction towards that person. And we got Gemini with the world upside down. So maybe, um, I'm getting with this one, like, if you were lucky in love... You're somehow not being lucky in love now or vice versa. Like you're, um, it's in reverse. So it's, it's to me when the whole world is upside down like that, that's, that's what it really means. It's like your tables are turning, your fate is moving. Knight of Swords for Cancer in reverse. So maybe, um, you had an air sign that's leaving you. That was kind of toxic. Um, this could be any uh, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Um, and judging by this Gemini card, which is really funny, that this could have been the Gemini. This is why the world turned upside down, because you're going to set them away. Or, um, I mean, it could be a Libra or an Aquarius, whatever. But it seems like you're just sending... You sent somebody away. Like, nope. Nope. Nope, not dealing with your crap. Water signs and air signs don't mix very well anyway. We got a Leo. Eight of Swords. Yikes. So, okay, so Leos, you are just afraid to say anything at this moment. For whatever reason, you are just bound and gagged. Like, you just feel like you cannot talk to your partner or talk to anybody, really. I mean, you, can't, you don't even feel like you can talk to your friends at all, either. Poor thing. Sorry, y'all. My cats are like... My one cat is just all over everything. Eclipse! Move off the computer. Thank you. Jesus. Virgo. And of course I get to that card. And then I like... I get to the Virgo card. And then I can't like, ignore the cat climbing all over all my stuff. <laughs> Five of Pentacles in reverse. So... For your love life, I feel like you're in a moment of healing yourself. And you're really in seclusion and you're really trying to heal yourself because you're really trying to stable yourself out before you try to get with anybody else. I'm getting a real strong energy of you trying to do a lot of your own personal inner work to get so you don't bring your baggage on to the next person. Especially for a Virgo, 
Like, you guys know you have, like, a shit ton of baggage that you kind of create for yourself. You know, Tino Shay, all to y'all Shay. Um, Libra. Knight of Pentacles in reverse. So it's funny because the Knight of Swords for Cancer was, like, sending away a, um, an air sign. But this, I'm getting more like, you're just not waiting for anybody this moment like you're trying to put your focus kind of on yourself the same way with virgo but like you're just not waiting for some like your knight in shining armor to show up you're just like well if they come they come if they don't they don't i'm still gonna be me so i'm not waiting for anybody anymore scorpio what do we have for you king of swords in reverse yeah Working on not being such um, a heartless uh, uh, approach at first to love. Cutting people off very quickly, very easily. Um, working on not being so cold. Not being so cold. Because, you know, we can appear emotionless to people. And so it's like we're working on that. Uh, 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 as a Scorpio, it's like we're working on that feeling of not appearing unemotional. But you still want, like, you still want that harshness there. Because you want people to know that you don't play. Okay, Sagittarius. The Herophant, long term. So you guys are either looking, you guys are looking for something really long term. Well planned out. Um, like, this is like a marriage card. I'm getting, like, you may be looking to get married. Or you're just focused on whoever, if you're single... Your focus on whoever's the next person that comes into your life is going to be the person that you marry. Like, you don't want to let anybody else pass a certain point unless you feel like you can marry them. And you're not, like, you would do not want to cross it anymore. It's like you are sick of the shit. Like, you want marriage and you don't want to settle for anything less. Don't blame me, girl. Don't blame me. Capricorn, the tower. This is a Scorpio card that's not in... Oh, I forgot to mention the Empress. Uh, well, I count the Empress as an Aries card, too. Because the Emperor is an Aries card. I count the Empress as an Aries card. But um, I think you guys... This is the... Uh, oh, besides the world with Gemini. But... Uh, and the Hierophant. But anyway, for the Tower, like... As a quick change is coming for your love life, Capricorn. A quick change is coming. Um, a lesson is going to be learned really fast. If you are with somebody and you're not happy, this is like you may just be like breakup is coming right now. Or if you are debating on whether to talk to somebody, maybe a great realization is coming on who you should like where you should put your energy at or what relationship you should put your time and effort into. But I'm getting this a big change and it's gonna be quick it's gonna be not necessarily like quick, but like it's gonna be known to you. Like you're gonna know when this lightning strikes. It's not going to be a question of, is this lightning striking for me? No, you gonna know. You gonna know. You gonna know. Aquarius. The chariot. <laughs> Aquarius is gum. Okay, this is cancer energy. So, um, yeah, it could be that whatever, either Aquarius or cancer or gem, like whichever one, like you, like Aquarius is like, I am out the door. Either you're out, either you're leaving somebody, or you're like heading, or maybe both. Like I'm getting either you're leaving somebody, or you're heading to somebody, or you're leaving somebody and heading straight to somebody else, like full speed ahead. So I'm getting both of those energies from this chariot. But I think it's just think it's funny that the cancer was like, ah, and you're like, no, bye, and they're like, oh, what's well, upside down? That's funny. Pisces, the ten of wands in reverse. Your struggles are ending. You've been really struggling in this area. Your struggles are coming to an end. Look, if you look, this is her right here, holding up the entire kingdom. Not no more. Not no more. That's a beautiful thing for y'all. This is a very short video. But yeah, I mean, the messages were really, really pretty clear for this so that's gonna be your love reading um take whatever resonates 
Like, comment, subscribe, and share. Bye.